Hey guys, with Dandy Soap on the Dandy Soap channel for DandelionSoap.com. And today's DIY is we are going to make a funnel tree. Unbelievable. This is such a clever, clever thing. And so this is basically day three of our 25 days till Christmas countdown. Now, what I have here is I have some buffalo check ribbon. I have some white burlap ribbon. I have some floral picks for Christmas. And I have some nautical rope. My hot glue gun using Gorilla Glue. And I'll clear our work area. So we have these funnels are going to stack on top of each other. And we're going to actually glue them. And we want to glue them to where all these little dips are coming the same direction. That way we have your ribbon, of course, and you're going to be ready to build your Christmas tree using just a little bit of glue and making it to where it is going to have a crease, a pleat, to go around this. So that these kind of suspend on top of each other. So basically you're going to be placing the glue probably on this point and then just placing it down on your other funnel and so on and so on have the buffalo check ribbon came from dollar general it was two dollars a roll and it's the two and a half inch by nine feet the burlap ribbon that i have here is the white that came from the target dollar spot and the nautical ribbon of course came from dollar tree the funnels came from dollar tree is you'll take your ribbon and First of all, get your starting point. Decide how far down you want it to hit on your funnel. And I'll have to come over here to the side. And since this has kind of a roughed edge, I'm going to actually just kind of turn that under to come about this far. Remember that when you set it down, that's going to flare out. So unless you're sitting it upon something, um, it will flare out, and that's pretty much going to work like your tree skirt. Um, so you just have to decide how far down you want it to come. I think, and then just let that glue dry. And the glue will usually come, to, this is fabric burlap plaited check. So the fabric soaks up the glue pretty good. But make sure it's good and holding before you move on. And then come over about, mm, you don't have to glue this spot to spot, but generally it takes around 20 inches or so to do the bottom side. And so we want that, depending on how much you want it pleated to, will also determine how big of a pleat you make. Not a great big gigantic pleat. And I am going to the right. If going to the left is easier for you, that's fine too. I almost started to, but down here on my ribbon, um, this looks a lot smoother where this is really, really rigid and I wanted to try to camouflage out and hide it. That is why I've started going to the right versus the left. I am using Gorilla Glue Sticks, guys. If you don't know that already, I am truly sold on Gorilla Glue Sticks. I uh, was one of those who had always used the multi-purpose glue sticks, but I am totally sold on the Gorilla Glue Sticks because they have a little more tack, so you get a little more tack out of your glue and a little more uh, pliability when you're trying to situate something, and they hold up marvelously. I mean, I'm talking the glue just has a better tack and it truly is softer than the standard multipurpose clear that we deal with. And okay, gang, the way that I'm doing this secondary ribbon is, if you'll notice, I am pleating it and then I am pressing it up under the lip of that second funnel there. And I'm putting further space in between my pleats because as you go up, the diameter of this is going to give you that and I am actually adding more of if you'll take your sand block or some sandpaper and just knock the shine off of that you'll get a better adhesion 
whenever you're using your glue and putting your ribbon on. And that way it won't be slipping and sliding on you. Now I took the wire out of the bottom of my ribbon down here on this bottom edge once I got it all glued and pleated around because I'm probably going to be sitting that on something, maybe a bucket, a pail, uh, or something, and really do something more because I'm really, really liking the way this is looking. And it's just absolutely gorgeous. And if you did not want that, you can you could just glue your ribbon all the way up to the edge of your funnel. And then that way it's going to hit right there and you won't even have this skirt coming out. But it's just really turning out gorgeous. And um, I was watching this Southern Girl Ken and she did the funnel tree. And she had gotten it from another lady that she watches and follows on the DIYs. And even she was talking about, you know, like with the skirt and everything, this can be like the tree skirt. I've been having a terrible time finding the cone-shaped styrofoam. And every time Christmas comes around, there seems to be a big shortage on that, especially in Dollar Tree. Um, so this would be another resort that you could use in order to accomplish this appearance, the tree shape. And anything that you might need a cone shape to, to in order to accomplish. And this would be really, really great because if you were to cut this top off, you can make this like a miniature cake. Um, you can make it into, of course, a dress for a baby doll. Um, just some things that I was thinking about when I was looking at it. But and she did this funnel tree. And if you have an opportunity, go over and check out her YouTube she is wonderful. You're going to have so much fun. She has a large personality, which I absolutely love. Enjoy listening to her. And she's very Southern like me. She's in Lenore, North Carolina. And you will just learn a lot from her. She's a really, really sharp, smart lady. And that with you. And I love how it's turning out. And I think it's just going to be fabulous when we get it done. So now we've completed putting our garland and our ribbon all the way around our tree. And I am making sure that my seams are in the back of my tree and placing it down. Now we need to finish out our trimmings in our top. And I'm going to do is I'm going to basically make just a almost a bow. I'm going to make my loops and I'm going to glue them together in a figure eight. Try that again. So as a change of pace, I want to show you something new and different uh, that you may have not seen before. I'm basically going to make my tree topper with my nautical rope. But what I'm planning on doing is making this more almost like a flower. Uh, so it has that star look effect. And even though this may seem like, I don't know, some a lot of effort, it really is worth it. So as you can see, I hooked my ends together and just pro and just made it basically like a figure eight almost. And you don't have to do all of them like that, but maybe the your first one you might want to do that. Just kind of. So you have more control is basically all that's about. It's just so you have more control over that rope because it gets unruly sometimes when you've undone your nautical rope. It's pretty thick. And so I've just undone it. I've unwound it and when and just cut it off about yay far. You know, you'll have to kind of size that up based on your project as to how big or how long you need your rope to be in order to get it to be the size that you want. Just pick the one with the prettiest hoop. As you can see, the one with the figure eight, it has a prettier hoop because now we've gotten it controlled. And so just by twisting them, because that's the direction they're wanting to go, it just helps you to have a little more control. And then, you know, you can... You're basically, that's your flower. 
And what I do is I, I can either glue them at this point where my thumb is at, or I can take a piece of jute twine or something just long enough for me to get this situated because this is going to have the bow glued to it and then it's going to be on top of the tree. So, you know, if you feel like you, they won't, that you can have better control than you, that you came along for the ride. Thank you so much for joining me and uh, being part of the gang. If you haven't subscribed already, I certainly hope that you will now. And, uh, you know, keep joining us for more DIY projects by hitting that little bell right there or the dandelion and subscribing. That lets you be one of the first to know whenever we put up a new video. Come and join us in our social media at Facebook. And uh, you'll see the links down below in the comments. Please pin us on Pinterest, share us on Instagram, and share this project with a family or friend whom you think might enjoy this. Until the next DIY, you guys have a wonderful, dandy, crafty day.